When Hugo Chavez won Venezuela's presidency in 1998, he purged the military to guarantee its senior figures were faithful to his left-wing ideals and to solidify his grip on power. Ever since, the army has largely been seen as the backbone of Venezuela's government. It has been involved in coups that have both crushed and restored democratic rule. Nicolas Maduro, who has no past military links, has continued in his predecessor's footsteps. The army plays a key role in supporting his government. Current or former military officials fill nearly half of his cabinet positions and hold several other key posts. Last year, Maduro chose Manuel Quevedo, a National Guard general, to head the state-owned oil company, PDVSA. That said, there have been small uprisings in recent years. On January 21st, a group of National Guard soldiers in Caracas attempted to stage a revolt against Nicolas Maduro. The uprising was quickly crushed by authorities and 27 soldiers were arrested. And in early February, an Air Force general defected to the opposition. I reject the corrupt and dictatorial authority of Nicolas Maduro and recognize Deputy Juan Guaido as the president in charge. To my comrade in arms, I ask you not to turn your back on the people of Venezuela. There are currently more than 320,000 personnel in the Venezuelan army. Hoping to sway the powerful institution's loyalties, Juan Guaido has offered amnesty to military officials willing to defect. An offer only a fraction of the country's thousands of top officers has accepted.